Um, just miss it. I got to give Fox 40 News, Sean Cunningham, a little love. Where's everybody? We lose to the Knicks. Everybody jumps off the bandwagon. James, I'm really surprised at you. I love you, but I'm really, really surprised at you. So it's all about Fox 40 News <laughs> and Sean Cunningham, because nobody else showed up. You're the man. Appreciate that. Oh, that's going to be a commercial. Y'all <laughs> oh, yeah. with, with, with us. Y'all with us. Y'all with us. Oh, my goodness. You're seeing that on the TV. All right. Um, just a day later, he digests everything. What's the thing that you were most pleased with, kind of maybe bothered you the most? You know, I, again, I, I thought our guys fought. We, we had a couple of defensive breakdowns, which is expected, and, you know, throughout the course of the game. And and uh, and when we did, Brunson made us pay the price for it. But um, um, our guys were physical. They were in tune. They gave ourselves a chance to win. Um, we, I said last night, we need to spray the ball a little bit more. Uh, we could have done a better job in that area. And then after watching the game, I didn't realize it during the Florida game, but we didn't do a great job closing quarters neither. Uh, the last minute and 45 seconds of the first, second, third, fourth quarter, we got outscored a total, I think, 21 to 6. And, you know, we're a good team. They're a good team. If you get outscored like that in the last two minutes, last minute 45 of, of, of each of the quarters, especially at that level, 21 to 6, it's going to be tough to win a one possession ball game, which it was uh, in the last two minutes. Even the last two minutes of the game, we got out scored uh, four to zero. And, you know, that's not like us. Uh, you know, we missed some shots that we normally make. Um, they stepped up defensively and, and, and had some big defensive plays. We did too, you know. And, uh, so I, I, there were a lot of positives. Uh, you know, we won the 50 50 battle, our deflections were good. Uh, there, there were a lot of uh, positives for us, uh, but you know, again, losing the end of quarters like the way we did of all four quarters and and not spraying the ball were probably the two biggest areas that hurt us. I know um, this might even I haven't looked, but I think it might even date back to last season when you guys don't score 100 points. This this season it's 0 and 8. Is there any rhyme or reason for that, or anything you're seeing that you guys are trying to get to over that 100 point mark? Well, like I said, they, you know, they're a good defensive team. I Going back and watching the film, I think you, you would even attest, we had wide open looks that you hope go in. And so there were times that uh, we were really good offensively, especially to start the game. The first five minutes of the game, we had three to four wide open looks where they didn't even rotate to our guys and we just missed the shot. And, and that's, you know, that's what I said before, you know, if you're not making shots when you have them, you have to be able to hang your hat someplace else, and that's on the defense end of the floor, which our guys did. They did a pretty good job of it. Uh, but the one thing that you have to do even better against teams like Houston, against teams like New York, that just swarm that paint whenever the ball gets close to it, is you you, you got to spray it to make the game easier, and you got to spray it not necessarily for a shot all the time, but to get the dominoes to fall. You spray it now; they got to close out. Now you can snap drive against the closeout. Maybe you might kick it or you might spray it again. And when you start getting them scrambling like that, that's where those rhythm threes come into play, the catch and shoot threes that you shoot when you're playing horse or when somebody's rebounding for you. And and we didn't have enough of those against a uh, against a very good defensive team. You talked about that playoff environment last night and how you guys can benefit from that. Really, this last three games, has this been kind of a nice sample size as the season winds down to kind of gauge where maybe you guys are at, a barometer, if you will, to see how you'll handle what a playoff game would look like? Yeah, I, I, 100%. I, you know, you, you like the level of physicality that, we, that we're that bringing to the, the, the basketball court right now, you, you know, on both ends, you know, uh, um, and really even, even the two games before this, the way we sprayed the basketball, that was the difference in my opinion of the, the offensive outbursts. We had some easy looks from the three-point line based off the 20 sprays we had against Milwaukee, based off the, the, the 19 sprays that we had against the Lakers in both those games. On those sprays, we were shooting 50% or, or, or better. You know, last night when you only have nine against Houston, when you only have eight, you know, now you're looking at the three-point percentage and it's 25, 26, 27%. And so uh, our, our 
our ability to, de to defend while trying to play offense the, the right way or at least the level that we're capable of in two of the last three games against uh, play uh, playoff teams when you're even playing team in, in, in the Lakers. When you're talking about the Lakers, Milwaukee, and New York, uh, you, you like that. Yeah, uh, with with Keon, I know you know he's coming away with a lot of steals. He's not really, in my opinion, doing much that he hasn't already done on shows on the defensive side. But what have you seen his activity um, that that makes you most happy? And you know, obviously, there's a lot of people that want to see when Kevin is struggling to see a roster move. And you talked about how you know you want to keep that consistency for those people who are always kind of calling for that. What would you say to them? Yeah, and I'm the first thing is I'm gonna always do what's best for the team, and and then you know while keeping in mind each individual player or person uh, but you know I've been in this long time and uh, just like anybody would in their business you don't want to make knee-jerk reactions uh, to anything and you know it, it takes time to make any decision whether it's Kevin Keegan, HV, anybody, you know, you, you want to make sure that it feels right and it's the right thing for the team uh, for, for hopefully the long term yeah. uh, possibility. So uh, for me, if, if, if there comes a time when I feel like I need to make a change, I'll make a change. But right now, you know, I want to continue to, to give this thing a chance to see which direction we're going and, and we'll see what happens in the future. But uh, to me, it's, it's nothing more to it than. Uh, what's best for the team? Yeah, and lastly for me, just when you talk about like, you know, closing out this home stand the right way, you know, the season kind of winding down. Obviously, everything's so huddled up in the West. Yeah. You as a coach, I know it's a day-to-day -day thing, but how much are you just looking at these standings, just day by day, even on games where you don't play, and the possibility of moving up a couple spots or down a couple spots? How much does it capture your imagination and tension? No, it does. And you know, we got a team full of competitors uh, so we remind our guys where we are in the standings I'm sure they're even looking on their own but it's a daily thing just because everybody's clumped up and every every game is important uh, for us everybody's fighting for the same thing uh, down the stretch and we just have to make sure that we're continuing to try to execute offensively and defensively to put ourselves in position to get the win night in and night out and if we do at the end of the day it's going to shake out take care of itself for us uh, in our favor or the right way at the end of the day. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Appreciate yes, sir. <laughs> All right. All right. It feels like that game, kind of like that low grind out game was kind of expected with them. How do you guys feel that you guys handled what they were able to? Um, I mean, like you said, we knew that they were gonna, it was going to be a tough game. You know, they played physical. Um, a lot of calls weren't called. Um, let a lot of things slide, but you know, I think we did all right. You know, it kind of reminded us, reminded us of a playoff basketball type environment. So, um, but I, I think we played well. Overall, how do you just kind of see the way you guys handled physicality? It seems like those are three straight teams that are kind of known for a little bit of their physicality and come out two and three against them. Or um, two and one, I should say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, I, I think we did a good job. Um, I mean, it's good preparation for down the road. So, um, you know, that's always good, especially late this late in the season. But, uh, I mean, yeah, obviously it would have been good to, to walk away with the win, but I think, you know, we had some, some – we shot ourselves in the foot a couple of times, but, uh, you know, just something else, some things to learn from. What was, what was that experience like going up against Jalen, and was that different from many experiences you've had already this season? Uh, I mean, it was good. Yeah, he's, he's different than, you know, all the rest of the kind of guys that I, I guard. You know, everyone kind of offers something different. So, um, you know, it, it felt good to go out there and kind of guard him just because I've never guarded him, you know, get a look at, you know, how he plays and, you know. Um, so, I mean, it, it was definitely good. Uh, like I said, he plays different than a lot of guys. So, um, honestly, just was excited to go out there and match up against him. Right. Well, there was one that obviously circulated a little bit, but when you turned your head and he went by, um, just what happened on that play? And did you see it kind of circulate a little bit? Um, I mean, nah, but I knew it would, but I, I was really just looking around to, to see if a screen was coming. And then if there was, I was going to shade him to the side that the screen was coming to. But I was just probably so worried about the screen coming that I didn't worry about him. So. Uh, I mean, it happens, you know, it's just basketball. It's just, just things to learn from, for real. And on the plus side, I mean, you guys, you, especially yourself, you've come away with a lot of skills lately in these games. I mean, is that just, obviously, we've seen what you've been able to bring on the defensive side, even from when you stepped foot in Sacramento. But mm -hmm. how do you feel like you've improved in that area and how it's just racking up some of these skills for you? Um, yeah, I, I think I've gotten better this year. Uh, I'm, I'm steadily improving, uh, just kind of trying to figure out the game and, 
and trying to figure out how teams play, you know, what they're looking for and ways that I can come in and get steals and deflections and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I, I think game by game, I'm getting more comfortable with, with reading how, how things are going out there. So um, just, just trying to be better each and every night for real. Man, finally, just, you look to close out this homestand. I know the Grizzlies are one of those sub-500 opponents that tend to sometimes give you guys fits. How important is it to kind of come out with the right mindset tomorrow? Uh, I mean, it's huge, you know, a, a team like this where it's a game that people will look at and be like, we should win, I think. Um, you know, we've got to come out with the right mindset. I mean, you know, they're going to come out fighting, you know, like they're an underdog. So um, just kind of got to come out and, and hit them first and, and put them away for the, for the entire game, so, you know. So that way we don't, you know, have to dig ourselves back from, from a deficit or, or whatever it is. So just kind of got to come in with the right mindset. Appreciate you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you no I guess overall thoughts from last night and what you saw kind of go good and what you saw went wrong. Um, I mean, I think that it was a real physical game. I think that, uh, I mean, as a playoff game, you see a real physical, they letting us play. Um, not a lot of points been scored, not a lot of easy buckets. So, I mean, I, I guess, I mean, that's what we needed, especially with the playoffs coming up. Um, we kind of in that area, playoff and play in, so we kind of needed that, that, that spark for us uh, during a uh, stretch. That chippiness, do you guys feel like you handled it pretty well? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think that we didn't quit. Um, we we kind of got some bumps and bruises, but we, we took the fight to them. Um, I mean, it was a lot of foul calls that wouldn't have been called, but uh, we initiated the contact. Uh, they did see what they just came out with a win. When it comes to that, uh, does it feel like kind of night and day from what you guys dealt with last year to this season? As far as what? In terms of like handling maybe some of that physicality? Oh, yeah, for sure. I think that last year we kind of, sometimes when they were a lot physical, we wouldn't hit shots and we laid down on defense. Um, we kind of got down on ourselves. But I think this year, I mean, even yesterday, um, I think that we showed the defensive mindset we had, um, even though we weren't really hitting that many shots. But still, a low scoring game, and we held them to 90 something. So I think it was a really good game for us. You mentioned a minute ago, I know Malik said it last night in terms of the playoff feel. Um, is that kind of come at a right time for you guys as you kind of wind down the season with the postseason in mind? 100%. Uh, I think we needed it. I think uh, the the high scoring games is 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 going out the going out the way. I mean, especially with the regular season ending, so the playoffs is coming up. I mean, but we needed that. I mean, that's a really good team. Um, even without Julius Randle, they're still a really good team. Um, they bump, they they shoot the ball well. They got really good players defensively. So I think we did a good job last time. Has a from a consistency standpoint, has this week kind of showed you this home stand? Has this kind of showed you anything different or any strides being made in terms of elements of consistency? Um, I mean, I think. As far as hitting shots, um, I feel like yesterday we didn't hit shots as, as many shots as we did against the, the Lakers or, um, I mean, Houston, they were a physical team too. I mean, I think we just got to kind of play through contact. Um, I think that uh, when you got physical teams, they kind of take your legs out of you because they bump you the whole time. But I think that we just got to take the contact and just hit shots. When they, when teams like Houston last night, I mean, obviously they kind of collapsed. They harassed Domas and disrupted the way they do, and you guys rely on them with DHO and sprays. Um, what do you guys end up having to do different if they kind of take some of those actions away? I think just take the easy ones. Um, I think that making the easy play, the simple play that is, that probably doesn't seem so many so open. Um, or I just think that when we play like teams like the Lakers who are not as physical, um, I think the the simple play is Domas can get a layup. But teams like the Knicks in Houston, they kind of collapse on them. So I think that he did a good job yesterday making the simple plays. I mean, a lot of couple mistakes, but it's okay. I mean, we'll learn from it. Like you said, we needed it for the playoffs. So we're going to see that. So he's going to make the right adjustment when we need it. I just got two more for you. I know the um, the West, and you know, it's all kind of huddled up there. And just, I mean, you guys as players, just how much, how much are you kind of curious to see how this all shakes out? I mean, I think it's fun. I think that, um, I mean, you kind of, you kind of, Fighting like it's the playoffs already. You kind of want that the good seeding. Uh, you still want the six seed. You don't want to be in the play in to, to to have to play to get in the playoffs. And I think it's fun when you have really good teams um, competing, fighting one another. We still got to play Phoenix. They're kind of close to us too. So I mean that's going to be a real big fight, a real big game. So I mean it's fun when you have big games like that. I mean it kind of shows us our tenacity on defense and offense. We'll show it. And last thing, I know Malik's getting a lot of love right now for six man of the year, rightfully so. I mean, he's like third all time, I think, in reserves for Kings franchise in Sacramento era. What's he meant for you guys this year? And do you see him playing any kind of different role than he was last year? He was obviously important to you guys last year. Yeah, I mean, I think he should have won it last year, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, but I mean, they have their own opinions. But I think this year, I mean, he just showed that the consistency he did last year, uh, making the right plays, making the easy plays for us. I think this year he's playing a lot, hard, a lot more harder defensively, um, hitting shots like he did last year. Um, it's kind of just a, a consistent year for him. I mean, you love to see it. I mean, especially how hard he works. Uh, I mean, I think he's going to win this year, too.